Number 34, nitric acid reacts with insoluble copper 2 oxide to form soluble copper 2 nitrate, which is CuNO32, a compound that has been used to prevent the growth of algae in swimming pools. Fun fact, <laughs> write the balanced chemical equation for the reactions of the aqueous solution of HNO3 with CuO. Okay, so... They did give us a little hint here. We have to just, you know, write the balanced equation f with HNO3 and the copper 2 oxide. Now, they did tell us that nitric acid is reacting with insoluble copper 2 oxide. So it does tell us a state. Remember, insoluble means solid. So that's just like a little hint here. But they did tell us that the HNO3, the nitric acid, was uh, aqueous, which means that we're going to write it as AQ. So, let's go for it. We need to write this reaction, right? H HNO3 with CuO. So, maybe I'll write it as this. HNO3. This is like bringing back beautiful memories of balancing equations. So, this should kind of be a review. Now, we have these two coming together, forming two different compounds, right? And they did tell us that one of them was a soluble... Copper 2 nitrate, CuNO32. So that's beautiful. Thank you for that. And we just got to figure out what the other one is. Well, let's see. Remember, anytime that you have two compounds coming together, it doesn't matter whether it's a titration or, you know, redox or whatever. If you see that you have two compounds reacting, this is always just a double displacement or a double replacement. Uh, reaction. So that's the easy way to spot it if you have two compounds. And remember, with double displacements, outers go with outers as your, you know, your compound in the products, and inners go with inners. So they helped us out here. They gave us the compound for the inner one, right? Cu coming with NO3. Cu, NO3, too. So all we have to do is just find out what the outer compound is. Well, it's a hydrogen coming together with an oxygen. So I say, okay, I have H and I have O. H is in group one. Remember, we need to get those charges. So that's a plus one. Oxygen, negative two, right? This, is, this should be, um, what is that called? Review right? From way back in the day. So we have to find these charges on the periodic table. And then remember, we crisscross them. So we have H2O1, aka just H2O. And if we're talking about aqueous solutions and you make water, that's always going to be a liquid. So that's done with that. They did say that aqueous HNO3, so I have that. They did say that the copper 2 oxide was soluble, uh, insoluble, so that's a solid. And then let's see, ah, they did say that copper 2 nitrate was soluble. That's another word for aqueous. All right, we wrote a equation, but remember, we always got to balance it. So this will also be kind of review. Now, as far as the nitrates, I'm going to pick that off. I have... I have nitrate here, NO3. There's two of them. But on the other side, I only have one nitrate. So I'm going to put a two here. Let's see. I have two hydrogens. Two hydrogens. I got one oxygen, one oxygen, one copper, one copper. Now we are balanced. And that's all we had to do for this question. Hmm. I wonder why it's in this chapter. I guess this was just a review, but that's it, guys. Double displacement, easy as that. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I hope to help you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard, and if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you. That will mean the world to me and my brother, and I will see you later. Okay, bye-bye.